Hello everyone. Um, today I want to clean up and trim my phytonia, the so-called nerve plant, a little bit. Um, because over the winter I made the mistake of underwatering uh, this nerve plant first and then overwatering it. And the result uh, of this underwatering and overwatering is quite a lot of dried up leaves. So you can see some like fully dried up leaves or partially uh, dried up leaves. And because it's such a beautiful plant, usually this really uh, affects the way, uh, like the overall impression of this plant. So what I want to do today is to trim and yeah, overall clean up uh, this plant a little bit and uh, just show you how I would go about doing this. So I really like the nerve plant because of its like beautiful foliage, beautiful leaves. So you can see these uh, green leaves with like red uh, lines over here. And I think that's why it's called a nerve plant. And I took a little bit better care of it in the last couple of weeks. That's why you can see uh, new growth uh, coming here or like these tiny leaves over there. So I really think it's time to uh, trim uh, some of the leaves here. I usually have my, I have my normal garden pruners, uh, but they are a little bit chunky. And I think for uh, this job, I decided to uh, use my nail scissors. They're much uh, finer. But what I need to do, uh, or at least what every YouTube, gar uh, YouTube gardener tells you to do, is to disinfect uh, the scissors before uh, you uh, use scissors, just for the sake of, um, like in order to avoid transmitting diseases between plants. So I'm just disinfecting uh, the scissors a little bit, and I'm using the Finlandia vodka that my friend uh, Lisa gave to me uh, for my housewarming party. So thank you very much, uh, Lisa. It's very much uh, used in, in this household. Um, okay, now we'll just go about trimming uh, some of the plant, uh, some of the phytonia. Okay, I will start. See a little bit of dried up leaves here. So even even though it's actually mostly fine, I will dis I will remove uh, these plants. Also here. Yeah, but I think all these all this new growth looks fine to me. This is also dried up. And this stem feels a little bit mushy. Yeah, it looks a bit bare now, but overall uh, the leaves look much healthier. So that's good. I'm very happy with this new growth here. I will just, can you see this? I will remove this stem and also remove it from the soil. Okay. I will now go to the next uh, stem. There are quite a few dried up leaves here, so I have to do, cut up quite a lot. Let's see, I think this looks mostly fine. I will just wait for it to grow a little bit more to see if I have to cut it off or not.
is mostly fine. There's just this one leaf. Got it. Okay, so I think I have two more to go. Oh, I think I forgot this one earlier. Let's go about the tallest stem. Oh, and a dried up stem here. Okay, and now the final stem. Good, according to me. Feels a little bit like being a dentist where you have to look at all the teeth to see if they're uh, healthy or not. Mm. Oh, another one. Yes, I think that's it for now. So if you look at it, it looks, of course, much more bare than it was before. But yeah, I'm quite optimistic because you can see all this uh, new leaf, uh, all these new leaves uh, coming up. So if we just give it a few more weeks, it will be considerably more full, and at least you don't have to look at uh, not so attractive dried leaves. Yes, so this is everything uh, that we cut up. Thank you for watching. I find these videos very uh, relaxing and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye bye.